the giveaway I started on my last video is still going on, so make sure to like, subscribe, and comment to enter the giveaway. I will be doubling the number of winners from 1 to 2 if we reach 200 subscribers, so make sure you share with your friends and let them know that the giveaway is going on. Also, make sure to add me on Instagram, at Revix, to be the first to know about any anything else that will increase your chances of winning, and get a behind the scenes view of how I make my videos. For a special word of caution, you must follow the directions exactly as they are given, and only if your device applies. If you don't follow the directions exactly, you have the possibility of breaking your device, or in other words, rendering it useless. Only install software made specifically for your device. Never take a stranger's advice when the life of your device is at risk. I am not responsible for any unfortunate outcomes resulting from you tampering with your device. If you guys would like for me to make a tutorial for a device other than Samsung, send me a donation at my PayPal and let me know in the comments what device you are using. Only install ROMs and firmware from reputable sources. Installing important software like ROMs onto your phone could not only invade your privacy and or destroy your phone, how it, but you could also lose your um, information and files. But if you follow the directions exactly the way I give them to you with safe files from safe sources, you will have safely down downgraded your Android version so you can play Pokemon Go spoof. Before you get started, there are several things you're going to need. You're going to need your Samsung smartphone. Uh, a USB cable to connect to your Windows PC, preferably the one that your phone came with. Um, you're also going to need software such as SmartSync, Odin, the drivers for your phone, WinRAR, and the February 2017 stock ROM for your device. To begin preparing, we start downgrading your device, you're going to have to back up your data. One of my favorite programs to back up your data is Smart Switch. So if you don't have that, open up your favorite browser and just Google Smart Switch. Click on the very first link so you can download it for your PC. And the thing that I like about Smart Switch is that it backs up almost every piece of your data, even your um, text message conversations. So if at one point you need to look back on that, you have it available. Click on download for PC and you should be redirected to the executable file which you will install, download and install onto your Windows PC. I already have it so I'm not going to do that. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open it and connect your phone with your USB cable. The great thing about Smart Switch is that if you don't already have the drivers for your device, it will install them for you. So it's kind of like two, two birds, one stone scenario. It's really easy. As you can see, I have my Galaxy S7 Edge connected. So I'm going to go and hit back up. Depending on how much data you have on your phone, this will take a while. And once you get this pop-up on your, on your device, on your PC, you will get another pop-up on your smartphone, which will look something like this. You're going to need to hit allow so that it will continue and back up all your information. Once you have this backup, it is super easy to get it onto your back onto your phone if it decides to factory reset your phone during the process. If you guys don't know how to check your model number, this is how you're going to do it really fast. You're going to pull down and go to your settings, scroll all the way down and hit about device and your model number will be right here where it says model number. So for me, it's my S7 Edge. It will be SMG935T. You will need this to find your specific stock firmware. Now that we have all that done, we can go and download your software version. So you're going to need your um, model number. So type that in. For me, it's SMG935. And then you're going to type in firmware at the end. We'll search that. Reliable sources would include Sam Mobile, as you can see the very first link, or samsungfirmware.org, and XDA. XDA is probably one of the best, but I'm going to go with Sam Mobile just because at XDA they often redirect you to other places. Once on Sam Mobile, and you have, make sure you have your correct model number. You can see all the different variations of the firmware for your device. You can choose either 7.0 or 6.0.1 depending on your preference. 
but for sure it has to be something that is dated before March 2017. So this one right here, as you can see, is dated at February 16th. So this one will, will work for the Pokemon that was spoofing. So make sure you choose one below March 2017. So the number right here has to be two or below. Right, so I want this one, so I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna scroll down to regular download. Even though it's slow, it's free, so I would go with this one. And just confirm your download by hitting download again. You have to wait a few seconds, and then once it's ready, you can hit download. And then you can download it to your desktop or wherever you think would be easier for you. I already have mine, so I'm not gonna download it. Have all your files downloaded, go to wherever it was that you saved your um, stack ROM. I saved it down in here. We're gonna right click it, hit extract here, and then it's gonna extract all the pieces that you're going to need to install onto your phone. This will take a while depending on how big the ROM is. Mine, for example, was two, almost two and a half gigabytes. So you can see here, it's gonna take about two minutes to finish. Once it finishes extracting, you'll see um, these various parts, including the AP, the BL, CP, CSE, and home. Now you're going to go wherever it was that you downloaded your phone in. This should be either in your downloads or on your desktop, depending on where you saved it and extracted the folder. Open Odin and give the administrative rights once it pops up. Once this is open, you can put your phone into download mode. Just power it off and hit, once, once it's completely powered off, hit press and hold the home button, volume down, and power button all at the same time until you get a blue screen. You know, say warning, installing custom mount can cause critical problems, etc. You're just going to hit the volume up button to continue. And then you're going to be into download mode. Once you're in download mode, get your USB cable again and re-plug in your phone with the USB cable. And if all is well, you will get a blue blue box here that says something like this, zero com six. Now you can load the partitions of the custom ROM. You have to load all of them. If you load a piece, if you just load several pieces and not the whole thing, then there is a chance that you will break your device. So the best thing to do would be to load all of them. So go where it was that you downloaded it, where you extracted them. And because I clicked on BL, I will hit the BL partition and open it. Then repeat the process for AP. And hit open. And you're going to do this all the way down for all the pieces. Well, as you can see, between each portion that you load, it checks the file to make sure it's legit and it's not going to harm your device to see if it's compatible. So it, between each portion, it might take a while. And don't worry about this not responding. That's just the Odin program working in the background checking the file. So that did take a while, it took about 5 minutes, but that was because the AP partition, partition is a lot bigger than the BL, so don't panic if you get the not responding at the top bar. Just be patient and let it finish, it will finish. Once you have that done, you can continue to the CP, make sure you choose the right one. I clicked on CP, so you're going to want to click the CP, CP partition and hit open. And again, it might take a while depending on how big the partition is. Then go down to CSC home and choose the CSC partition okay once you have all of these selected you're going to go and hit start 
I'm not going to do that because I already have the, the um, February version of the firmware. But you are going to hit start and it will push all the files onto your phone. That is it for this tutorial. Once you hit start and it pushes all the files over, your phone will reboot into recovery mode and install all the files. And it, depending on the size of your ROM again, it will take some time. Mine, for example, took a total of 10 minutes to finish the installation and everything. Once you have all of the installation process done and you want to reload all of your saved items, what you're going to want to do is start up Smart Switch again. Start up Smart Switch and reconnect your phone with the, your USB cable. But this time, instead of hitting backup, you're going to want to hit restore. And it will move everything that you had backed up before, which was, for me, was about... Um, but first you have to unlock. Sorry about that. You have to unlock your phone. If you had it off, you'll have a notification like that. So you're going to have to unlock. And then, like I said, it's going to connect. And then you're going to want to hit restore instead of backup. You're going to restore what you saved before and everything that was on your phone or everything that it backed up will be pushed back onto your device and it will be as if nothing happened and you will be able to root you will be able to play Pokemon Go spoof without root if you guys would like a tutorial on how to do that I already have one on my channel the link will be down in the description below if you guys would like to see anything else from me in my channel like for example if you'd like to know how to get this really cool looking background and desktop setup with the specific buttons for each app then let me know down in the description below and do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you would like to enter the giveaway. For now guys, that's it. Revix out.